At the Market is underwritten by Citizens First and the St. Clair DDA. Welcome everyone, good afternoon and welcome to At the Market with Brian Neiman. Obviously I am not Brian Neiman, but I do play him on TV. <laughs> I'm Scott Atkins and I'm hosting today. I have with me Mr. Don Glide from the Marwood Inn. Don is the chef and he's going to prepare a little bit of their world famous or nearly world famous house chili for us today. So uh, with no further ado, Don, uh, tell us a little bit about the dish you're going to prepare today. Um, okay, it's just our basic bar chili, and what I went ahead and done was uh, I sauteed the ground beef and onions and peppers ahead of time to save a little bit of time. And uh, it's a pretty basic chili. It's got a little kick to it because I use um, chipotle pepper besides chili peppers. So might spice it up just a little bit, you think? Spice it up a little bit, yep. Good. So chopped garlic. Wonderful. Um, a little bit of beef base. Boy, it already smells good and you just started. That's, yeah, thanks. It's a good sign. That's why they call it nearly world famous, right? That you got it. All right, perfect. And it's getting to be that time of year, too. That's chili right. pepper. Perfect. Yeah, a great, great time of year right now to start thinking about the chili. You know, coming up to football season and all of those wonderful fall events. So what goes better than a little bit of chili and a nice beverage of your choice along with it. A lot of fresh vegetables inside there too. Yep, so. all bought right here. I understand that uh, there was a little shopping done earlier today then, is that right? Yes, there was. Well, maybe we should bring uh, the owner forth and talk to Mr. Gary DeWolf and let's talk a little bit about your shopping at the market today. So, okay, How are you? All right, sir. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, the Marwin Inn and then you can tell us a little bit about your shopping experience here today. All right, um, Marwin Inn is located in, in East China Township. Um, there seven days a week. <laughs> uh, chef's always chef's always on hand. Does, does a fabulous job. We went earlier today and uh, picked out uh, picked out all our all our produce here. Everything looked very nice. Everything was nice and fresh. Well, I see that uh, there was a shopping cart on the side, and I think that was your wife that was kind of pushing it around there. And uh, I see so you were chasing her, so that's a good thing. Were you buying some things for home too? Absolutely. Perfect, perfect. So, you know, the Marwood, the uh, the same old Marwood with a little different flair, same location, but uh, some different changes and things there? Yes, we mix things up a little bit, clean things up uh, a lot, and uh, everybody everybody seems to be enjoying themselves so far. Wonderful. Now, uh, you guys have a few things going on down there in Marine City area, and you're going to be taking a, a little prominent role in some of those things, too? Oh, absolutely. We, uh, we have the Taste of the Town coming up. Um, which everybody's really excited about, and um, get all the get all the tickets at all the uh, all the different restaurants that are participating in it. Tell us uh, when is that event coming up? That is the twelfth. Okay, so coming up uh, this Saturday on the twelfth, then. This Saturday. Well, good. We'll uh, we'll see that we promote all of the restaurants there, and especially this world famous chili that you can get at the Marwood Inn. So, Gary, thank you very much. Thank you. I turn around for a couple minutes and I look back look and all of a sudden happened. we've got chili already is, here. Is that so. the miracle of TV or what? This is wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Don, tell us a little bit about some of the extras you put in. I see you had a couple of other containers up front. Um, and it, just, it smells great. If we had smell-o-vision, this would be wonderful. So. Um, diced tomatoes, um, the peppers and onions from the market here. Um, I just used one. Hottie. Habanero. <laughs> the wonder in the size, you shouldn't be fooled by that? Is that you what you're it. saying? Just, you know, wonderful. But the whole secret here is at the end. We're going to have s'mores? Is that what we're doing? What kind we of, sort of. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Chocolate is good. Chocolate is good. Now, is that is that for the chef to partake in after making this? Or is this, that actually an important key to this chili that you have This here? was a, uh, a thing I've seen on the cooking channel. Southwest uh, Chili Cook-Off. Man won it five years running. And he put a half a Hershey bar in his chili. Now, the other half, is that something you say for later? That's for later. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we're going to let this simmer for a little bit. Okay. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to talk with some of our friends from the St. Clair Fire Department uh, about some of the activities they have going. Very so good. I'll let you simmer away. This is your chance to have that chocolate. I won't even look. All right. All Thank right. you. <laughs> Well, uh, good afternoon. We have uh, Mr. Dave Rodacki from the St. Clair Fire Department here today, and you're going to talk a little bit about the Michigan Firefighters Memorial. Well, let's let's talk about that and tell us about what's going on. The uh, this is the 30th anniversary of the Michigan Firefighters uh, Association or Michigan Firefighters Memorial Festival this year. Uh, it's going to take place September 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. Uh, the 17th is family night, strictly for families. Uh, a lot of fun starts between uh, at four o'clock, goes till eight o'clock. 
Uh, the Fireman's Memorial actually started back in 1980. September 20th, they had this dedication of the statue um, to the uh, firemen's, uh, firemen in Michigan. And uh, right after that, they had the festival. The festival was held at the uh, DNR hangar for about two years. And ever since that, it grew so much that they actually took it out to the uh, Ross Common Fairgrounds. So it's being held in Ross Common starting this Thursday at 4 o'clock. Uh, like I say, there's a lot of family activities each day. Uh, Saturday, there's uh, a lot of activities going on. 9 o'clock in the morning, they have the memorial service. At 11 o'clock, they have a parade. And after that, everything opens up to everybody, and we have a lot of fun uh, doing extrication uh, exercises. We do uh, firefighting uh, search and rescue exercises and we also do a water ball contest uh, really a great time for the families uh, to get into the building i think to access the bar area in the evenings it's uh, two dollars you get a raffle ticket and a button uh, to get into the building you get a raffle ticket you got a chance to win uh, a prize a couple prizes that they have available it's a good time had by all Good. Well, from an old fireman myself, I've been up there many times. It's a great event, and the, the committee, they do wonderful things. They put a lot of money back into training and other activities, and there's a tight connection, I guess, with St. Clair Fire. I know Mr. Uh, Raymond Scuda and a few others actually built a little beverage serving truck there, so uh, <laughs> it's, it's a great event, but we yeah. certainly thank you, and uh, you know, if people want to contact the fire department here locally, they can get more information. Absolutely. You can contact the fire department at 329-3360. If you happen to see a red and white truck traveling around that does not say St. Clair Fire on it, it's my personal, uh, I should say my business vehicle, uh, you can always grab some of these uh, magazines today if you wish, and uh, we can supply those. If you happen to see me running around town, let everybody know that I've got a lot of these with me, and we'd like to pass them out so everybody can show up and have a good time. All right. Well, Dave, thank you very thank much, you, and uh, good luck with everything this thank year you. celebrating the 30th. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I tell you, every time I turn around, there, there's more that just shows up on the table. So yeah. I'm going to pay attention to you from this point out and, and really watch carefully okay. so I can practice at getting close to the world-famous chili. There so. you go. Okay. Um, this pot is close to being done, but because of time, this pot is done. Wonderful. So what we're going to do, I'll show you a couple different styles that we do at the Marwood. Is that all right? Absolutely. Okay. It's kind of have it your way at the Marwood. You right? can have it your way all at the right. Marwood. Perfect. Special orders don't upset us. <laughs> That's a good thing. Plain old chili. Kind of fail safe for anyone and everyone. You got it. Good. People like to request us and call it Texas chili. A little bit of onion and some Kobe Jack cheese. I'll add a little bit to it there. Yep. All right. Then for the ones that like the Corona <laughs> with the hot chili with it or next to it or yep all right we got the same chili it's got a little kick in to begin with jalapenos I'll light up the fire where's where's the fire department again just a little bit of salsa well, it looks like a great salsa now that you also make your salsa up. salsa is homemade wonderful and then some more of the colby jack that's why you're using China, I see, uh, to yep. hold up with all that hot stuff in there, right? Got it. Uh, perfect. And then the last one that we just kind of started doing, it hasn't really taken off yet, but um, I ran it a few times at lunch. I sold a couple of them. It's just a, a baked mozzarella chili. And add the mozz to it. Well, it just melts right in there, doesn't it? But what I usually do... If it didn't melt before, it will now. I'll break out the torch. And there you go. Wonderful. Boy, it looks great. And a little added now. touch. And I invite everybody to meet us next week here at the market when our guest is going to be the owner of Sue's Coffee Shop, Sue Hool and Anita Kern. So we ask you to join us next week at the market, and we thank you for viewing today. At the Market is underwritten by Citizens First and the St. Clair DDA.